Now, there have been some few changes to this CDF. And one of the changes is that there will be uh, constituencies that are going to receive a little bit more than other constituencies. 75% of the CDF fund available, it, it will be shared equally. 25% will be shared based on the constituency, uh, what's in your constituency. For example, Mosop, we have seven constituency, uh, seven, one, one constituency, but seven wards. So we will be receiving about 158 million uh, of it. The previous time we were receiving 138 million. So we've received an extra 20 million because of the extra constituencies that we do have. And I believe it is better because of this reason. See, somebody who has only three constituencies to take care of will not be the same as somebody who has eight constituencies. Mm -hmm always going to elections, you campaign so hard, you have a total number of registered voters of 156,000. They come out very seriously. Uh, all together when you put your votes plus those you competed with comes to 100,000. And you expect somebody who has won with 5,000, and I'm not saying in a bad way, but then when it comes now to distribution of everything, you want equal. It is wrong. You are not even equal in the beginning of when we were campaigning. So why would we be equal again? The only thing that I like about and that is important in Parliament is that there must be that equity. Yeah, that you must ensure every uh, area people appreciate what we are doing. Yeah, I believe it's fair. I believe it's fair because uh, when you look at uh, what it entails to have many words, because many words translate to many schools, uh, many police posts, uh, many uh, students, and that's what the that's exactly the primary focus and priority for CDF. Therefore, if someone has three words and me have five words, you can't say that we will have the same backlog. The backlog with the five words is more than the three words. It is all right because based on uh, what we have been going through, there are so many big constituencies uh, with eight words and they are equally getting the same amount. And uh, that one was quite discriminatory. Although we are going to look at the number of things, let us not look only on word, uh, the number of words, but also the number of institutions we have had in, the, in those constituencies because uh, some words are too small with lesser population 